guys, hello and welcome to the channel. Right, been a bit of a problem. Um, headed out Friday, myself and Ben went to Tremedo Fly Fishery down just outside of Hale and we met up our good friend Warren and we got down there, the stage was set, the conditions were perfect. There was very little wind, it was slightly overcast. There's a little bit of chop on the surface and we were all ready to fish. 10 minutes into fishing, Ben hooks up into a magnificent brownie. Absolute lunker of a fish. And it was all filmed. We filmed the weighing of the fish, we filmed the release of the fish, the fight of the fish, everything, you name it. Done a little introduction, filmed it all, really happy with it all. And then we had a really good day, loads of fish, as you've probably seen from the Facebook and Instagram. And then I got home on Friday evening and went through the footage and probably up to the mid-morning, I think, where I changed my battery. The introduction, Ben's big brown trout, Warren's, one of Warren's catches over the far side, one of my near misses, all been recorded, which is all great, except there's no bloody audio. I was gutted. This air was quite blue, let's just put it that way. So anyway, I'm gonna put it on the video in a minute for you, but I just wanted to explain to you that it's gonna be music. I'll put up some captions as to wait and what happened. Um, but in a, in a nutshell, we were told by John, the um, fishery owner, that he'd put a number of big brown trout in recently and specifically asked that if in the likelihood we do catch any of these browns that they get put back. Um, a, because they're old fish, and B, they probably taste like muck anyway. So that's his wishes, and we respected that. Um, we'd been fishing literally five, 10 minutes. We'd caught up with Warren. We'd had a bit of a chat, already caught two fish. So Ben and I went a bit further up on the far bank on the top lake. I was casting away, and then I heard Ben shout, fish on, fish on, fish on. When I looked over, Ben's rod was doubled over. The tip was near the butt, and I was like, whoa, he's got a big fish. So with the camera, walked over and filmed Ben land an incredibly big brownie. Uh, and you'll see this in a minute. We weighed the fish. The fish in the net was nine pound on the nose. Um, after we recovered the fish and Ben successfully released the fish, we then weighed the net. The, went, the net was one pound four ounces, making the fish seven pounds six ounce. It's a personal best for Ben. So from me, and I'm guessing from all of you guys as well, congratulations to Ben because it was an absolutely magnificent fish. But it looks like a 1930s silent movie because there's no audio. So we're gonna skip the introduction that I filmed. I'm gonna skip the introduction that I filmed when we got to Tremedo and we're gonna go straight to Ben's capture. I'll put some funky music on and then fortunately later on we do get some audio with the footage. But I just wanted to go through that, explain it to you. I was a little bit miffed because it's the first time in a long time I've been able to go fishing, I had the, kid, had the conditions and the time to properly film and it didn't work. Why it didn't work I cannot not explain but it seems in when I look at the timeline of the footage when I changed the battery for some reason it worked. Now I don't know if I had it seated properly into the GoPro media mod, who knows. Anyway, here it is. Enjoy the video, it was a magnificent day. I can't thank Ben and Warren enough for the, the company. It was a great day to fish in. And also I'd like to thank John at Tremedo for having us for the day. Guys, enjoy Tight Lines.
nice little rainbow. Magnificent guys, magnificent. Here we go. Nice fish actually. A bit bigger than what I thought. Let's turn you up. Hi. Right, Mr. Fish. There we go, guys. What a beautiful fish, eh? So he took a white damsel, orange beaded white damsel, first cast on immediate retrieve. Um, I let it sink down a bit so it's sort of mid water column and I could see him follow, I could see his wake. So I just slowed it down a bit and bang. So I need to dispatch this fish. Um, the first two fish I keep. So I'll dispatch this fish humanely and then it won't be wasted, it will go to the table. Thanks guys, thanks for joining us. Welcome to Tremedo tight lines, what an amazing morning already. Cheers. Here we go guys, fish on. Oh, I've got a small rainbow. Lethargic looking thing. Decided to wake up now. Keep my 
away from those weeds. Bad looking fish. There we go. It's actually not as bad looking as I thought. He looked quite lethargic in the water. Let's get him up for you. There we go. There you go, guys. Fly right in the corner there, right in the scissors. Brilliant. That's what it's all about guys. Right, so now for me it's catch and release. So again, I'll dispatch this fish. It'll be harvested for the table. And then we'll um, carry on fishing the rest of the day, catch and release. Tight lines, guys. Okay, so we, oh, whoa. It's just about to say, Ben and I have just come down to the other lake. Just to have a quick cast before we go back to the car to get some lunch. Just so I'm about to start talking to you, bang. How's that? So I've got to release this fish. I've only paid for two. That was a hell of a take. Lovely brown rainbow. Banging the scissors again. There you go guys, lovely little rainbow. I'm not going to keep him out of the water for too long. Just got to get back. Right on. There he goes. Not a perfect release, but he's released. There he goes. Ben's just lost one. Just about to start talking to you there, and bang! He absolutely ripped off of it, got airborne. So, if I'd have paid another tenner, I could have bagged that fish. But to be honest with you, I'm happy with my lot. And I'm quite happy catching and releasing. Problem is here, this bank's got a really steep drop to deep water. So releasing them isn't easy. I've pinched the barb on the hook. And as you saw, that fish disgorged itself in the net. Oh, and again. Woo! Yeah. yeah? I've already got two though. How was that? Three casts, two fish. Right, let's get him in.
Right, so what John did say is normally if you're an inexperienced angler, then this is a catch and release only lake. But what he said to us, we've ca already caught our two because of our experience as anglers, he's happy for us to release the fish. So that's exactly what we're doing. So I'll discourage this boy. There you go, as easy as that. There you go, guys. Beautiful fish. Let's let him go. This is exactly what it's all about, guys. Sun's shining, in good company with your mates. Fish are biting. Not a worry in the world. It's just fantastic. Am I glad I made the decision to give up bait fishing? Absolutely. Right, one last cast, and then we're gonna go and have some lunch. right underneath that tree. Here comes Benny boy. Come say hello to the camera, Ben. Come say hello to your fans. You've got fans. They're all here, look. You're shy. It's camera shy since when, Ben? Right, this is, I promise, my last cast and we're all going to have some eat, something to eat, huh? Right, guys, I promise it's the last cast for now. We're going to go back to the car. Get some scran. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you in a little bit. Tight lines, guys. Tight lines, Ben. Tight lines. Tight lines. <laughs> right, guys, that wraps us up for an afternoon. So, unfortunately, not a great deal of footage from this afternoon, so we, we stopped and had lunch. And um, we had a quick cast in here. Ben caught one more, which put him up to his full bag of three. Then went up to the top lake, and um, it's been really tough. There's been lots of fish showing. And I've tried all sorts of things. I've tried fishing the blob, tried fishing it static, tried lures, you, you name it, um, nothing. Warren had one really lovely fish. You're on the wonk there, aren't you? Hang on, let's straighten you up. There we go, that's better. Yeah, Warren had a lovely rainbow, just over five pound. I'll show you the picture of that right now. Um, yeah, and Ben managed a few more. Um, but if I'm honest, I've fished like a bit of a biff this afternoon. Spent lots of time sorting out leader knots and all the rest of it, but but it's been a glorious day. The weather, the temperature's starting to drop a bit now. It's getting a bit chilly, but it's been an absolutely beautiful, beautiful day. Best day we've had here in Cornwall for a good couple of weeks, um, and it's a really nice segue back into bringing you guys some footage and following our adventures. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. Um, ben and I have had a magnificent day. It was great to catch up with Warren. If you get an opportunity, come up here, come down to Tremedo, pop into the shop, see John, say hi, he's a cracking, cracking gentleman. Um, he's got an awful lot of stories, he's a Weybridge boy. Um, yeah, come down, support the fishery. Like I hinted at earlier, there is a very good chance of catching a, a fish here that you can't catch anywhere else in Cornwall. So you've got um, Spartic char, Arctic char, and you've also got um, the big brownies like what Ben had earlier, and tiger trout, and lots of rainbows. So it is a lovely fishery, um, not particularly expensive in terms of trout fisheries. My two fish ticket was £30, so it's not too bad. Uh, yeah, it's just a lovely place. It's nice and quiet, lots of wildlife. So um, hopefully you've enjoyed it as much as we have today. And um, next time I see you might be 8,000 miles south in the Falklands. That's where I'm off to next week. So um, I'll see you down there. Long journey for not a lot of time down there, but it's going to be worth it. So guys, Please take care of yourselves. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider hitting subscribe if you haven't already. Please leave a comment and please give it a thumbs up and a like. Guys, it's been lovely to come back. It's lovely to see you all again. And hopefully this is the start of something good. The kids are settled. They're happy in university. Lou and I have sort of adjusted to the empty nest. So life is back on par kind of ish. So um, yeah, take care of yourselves, guys. Thanks ever so much. We'll see you soon. Tight lines. Oh.